I have friends, which is still processing in my mind, but this year some of them gifted me games over Christmas. One in particular knew I was a fan of classic RPG and sent me a copy of Wizardry 8. And I love it. But why is this so? It can all be summed up in one thing. Okay, it can all be summed up in three things, but just explaining these things wouldn't do this game justice. And I figured the best way to showcase why I enjoy this game so much would be the walkthrough and talk about the first hour or so of gameplay, which is fantastic. And simply by starting, we bump into the first reason why I think this game is really great. You start off by making characters to place in your party. Sure, when you install the game, they're the prefab party ready to go, but I don't like them and I deleted them almost immediately. Now, each party member has stats, a class, and a personality plus voice that are all decided by you. It's like you're creating and controlling a full D&D party while the game DMs for you. And you get a lot of control over this. You can choose to have a well-balanced party whose strengths cover each other's weaknesses, or you can choose to solo the game as a female fairy ninja. I'm getting all beat up over here. It was close, but... <sighs> Looks like everyone can use a brick. Actually, don't do that. You have to be good at the game to do that. So just for this video, I've made a new party that I will run to the opening dungeon with. Let's go over them. For our frontliners, we can have three people. These ones will be at the front of our party formation, dealing and absorbing a majority of our damage. In this half of the party, we have Brother Silas, a morose monk with a death wish. Sure. I'm itching to do something wild and reckless anyway. Sonu the Lad, a fighter who thinks he's smart even though his int score is equal to a D&D 7. Tis wit, not strength, that make a solid lad, but I be lucky to have both. Gorus, legendary author and troubadour extraordinaire, or for short, Gorus. He was happy to join. He thought it would make an exciting chapter in his book. Then we have our supporting party members, who will be the only ones capable of dealing damage against a lot of ranged enemies. First, we have Alexandra Tullus, a ranger who is our only rational party member here. Let's get moving then! We don't have much time! There's Neris Harkin, who has a high opinion of herself in spite of her incredibly low 5 HP. Well, well. I wondered when you would get around to me. You won't be disappointed. And lastly, we have our healer, a self-absorbed priest by the name of Lord Vega. You're going to need someone of my superior intelligence. Some call it ego, but I call it talent. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a perfect party. Alright, standing around won't help us get out of this mess. Let's get moving! Maybe we can find some signs of civilization. Let's show the enemy who's in charge. With pleasure. With pleasure. With pleasure. Okay. With pleasure. With pleasure. I'm 
measure our progress in bodies. Chi! See something! The air was thick with tension, and the hero... He feared going further. All hands to it! We've a battle ahead! Minute. Mark. Look, over there, look, over there. This could be dangerous. Careful, everyone. They feared for their lives. I measure our progress in bodies. With pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. 